So you want to get yourself a SIM card in Panama and you're wondering, well, how can I get myself a SIM card? What are the operators and what else do I need to know about buying a SIM card in this country? Well, you came to the right place because in this video, I will tell you how to get yourself a SIM card in Panama. So let's just get started, shall we? Hi. It's Odu for Phone Travelers here, where we talk about everything related to traveling with your phone, such as buying a SIM card in Panama. If videos like this are interesting to you, make sure to subscribe to this channel. To get yourself a SIM card, you need to be aware of a few basic things in this country or, well, Panama to get yourself a SIM card. So let's start with the operators first. How many operators do we have and who are the operators? Well, you have four different operators. You have Must Move You by Cable and Wireless Panama. Then you have Clau. Digicel and Tigo. Those are your four options in Panama. Well, how much will a SIM card cost you? Well, it's possible to get a SIM card for free, but it depends on which operator you go with and where you actually get yourself a SIM card. Well, in most cases, SIM cards are sold up to two PAB standing for, and that's a good question, which is packed one to one with the US dollar, and the US dollar is, well, used a lot or, well, almost interchangeably in Panama. So you can use PAB or USD, it doesn't matter. Anyway, SIM cards are up to two PAB, but if you go to certain malls, certain mall stands and go with Clau, they are willing to give you SIM cards for free, although they most likely want you to recharge on the spot or get yourself a plan on the spot. So that's something to be aware of. It's also possible to get yourself a SIM card at Panama International Airport, which is called Tucumán Airport, which I probably butchered the name, my apologies. You can get SIM cards there at the self-service machines, but you will be charged an incredible premium compared to the two PAB or two USD that you can get at newsstands, chinkos, I think they are called, electronic shops and stuff like that. So getting yourself a SIM card at the airport is highly discouraged, but it's an option. What where can you get yourself a SIM card, which I somewhat covered a little bit earlier, is you can go to the official stores of these operators. So you go to a must move goods store or a cable and wireless store, or you can go to third party sellers, like electronic shops, newsstands, corner shops, a lot of places in Panama sell SIM cards. You don't have to go to the official stores if you don't want to. So what about SIM card registration? Well, Panama was together with Nicaragua, one of the few or the only two countries in Central America where SIM card registration was not mandatory, but it seems like this rule has changed in 2020 where now you do have to register your SIM card with your passport information. The thing that I'm not sure about is let's say if you buy a SIM card at a third party uh, seller or reseller, how the SIM card registration works there because, well, I couldn't find that information and the people that I know that live in Panama don't really know anything about the registration either. So if you do know about it, please let us know in the comments down below so that, uh, yeah, we can become smarter. So do make sure to bring your passport with you when buying a SIM card, especially if you go to the official stores, even the third party stores, just in case. And uh, yeah, SIM card registration is mandatory here. So can you even use your phone when you are in Panama? Well, one thing you need to be aware of is the frequencies, the frequencies used in Panama and actually many places around the world. So let's take a look at this map on the screen. You'll see three different regions, one, two, and three. Region ones and three, which are Europe, Africa, the Middle East, Asia and Oceania, they use traditional European frequencies, whereas everything in blue, so the Americas, they use American frequencies, including Panama. In short, the base frequencies used in the Americas, so region two, are different than in regions one and three. Does that mean that if you come from region one and three that you cannot use your phone when you go to Panama or region two in general? That's not the case, but you do need to have a medium slash high-end phone in order to use your phone in all the regions where the base frequencies are different. So in Panama, they use traditional American frequencies, which I'm showing you on the screen, with the exception of Digicel. Digicel's 2G network, they use traditional European frequencies, but 2G is way too slow for modern data browsing, so that's only useful if you want to make calls and text. But for data, well, don't count on that frequency. But like I said, if you have a medium to high-end phone with three-band or quad-band support, then there's a big possibility or big chance that you can use your phone in Panama without any issues. If you come from America, so any other Region 2 country, you shouldn't experience any issues either. Do know that 4G, so 700 megahertz, that is usually on band. 12 and 17 in the US or North America in Panama is on band 28. Why it's different, I cannot tell you, but it could be an issue if your phone doesn't support band 28. Well, if you want to learn more about frequencies and how it can affect the way you travel with your phone around the world, make sure to check this video up there. I go much more in depth about that. Well, we're not, it's not too technical, but it will be a useful reminder for you or a useful video for anybody who likes to travel around the world 
and wants to use that phone. So now you may be wondering well, which SIM card is the best? What about speeds? What about coverage and all that type of stuff? In Panama, well lucky for you, I have a complete Panama SIM card buying guide where I go much more in depth about that stuff, which you can watch up there so that you can select the best SIM card for your situation. Once again, I'm out of a phone to risk where we talk about everything related to traveling with your phone, such as local SIM cards, local SIM card reviews, international roaming, speed tests, just everything related to traveling with your phone. I would highly recommend you to subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with the best SIM cards all over the world. On the screen you'll see some related cards. Make sure to like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.